Mexico, a country of so much beauty, a place I've heard so much about all my life but have never been. It's amazing how close it is to us, but you feel like you've stepped into a completely different world. We spent the week here in a very traditional village, high up in the mountains. But first, before I talk about that, I'm going to take you back in time to the story of how we ended up here. Welcome to the Travel Series. Honestly, the, the best feeling in the world is just having all your belongings in your arms. You feel so free, you know? <laughs> uh -huh. Like everything I need, just in this bag. You know, we can go anywhere. I was supposed to be on a flight this morning to go visit my friend. In a word or two, how can I help you? Uh, flight cancellation. Hi, um, I need to cancel my flight because my friend who I was going to go visit um, is sick with COVID, so I'm putting a bag in a bag. <laughs> This is for when I leave you, and I'm gonna put all my stuff into there, mm -hmm. and then you can take this big bag home. We booked this flight about like four hours ago, and um, this isn't a last minute vacation. I don't know what is. We got our bags packed. You ready to go? I am. So now we're going to Mexico. Okay, so we just landed uh, about an hour ago and we made it to like the town, Oaxaca is where we are. The thing is, we did book our flights yesterday, very last minute, and we don't really have anything planned. So now we're just in the town, we just got a coffee and um, I think we're gonna try to like wander around the streets and find a bus. What do you think of that idea? I think it's about all we can do. I think so too. <laughs> we haven't slept all night. I'm actually feeling really good though. I'm at that point where you get kind of delirious because mm -hmm. you haven't slept in so long. And then we also just drank a big coffee. Here, wait for that, I'm gonna... Did you drink that whole coffee on the plane? At this point, we had no plans of where we were actually gonna go or stay. And we were just so exhausted from staying up for due days and with no internet service or ideas. We ended up finding a little library in town and in one of their travel guides of the region, I read about this small little village up in the mountains, which sounded really intriguing. So we headed to the bus station to find a way to get there. Okay, so we got a ticket two hours south to a town I cannot pronounce. Can you pronounce it? We don't know where we're going. We just found a bus to take us south. The bus ride was long and very hot, but we finally made it to another town. From there, we found someone to drive us up the mountain an hour to this village. This is gonna be so, oh. Have you ever had a papaya? No. Wow. <laughs> this one is so good. Okay, your I'm first bite. I'm a little scared. Whoa. Isn't it it's good? Like kiwi. It's so good. If I could eat papaya every day, I would. This one specifically is wow. very tasty. Oh, good morning. It is the most beautiful day here. We are in this like tiny little village up in the mountains. And wow, it's been such a beautiful experience. Nobody here speaks a word of English. And um, I've been trying to work on my Spanish, but I'm not very good. So that's been really interesting. So this trip, <laughs> kind of just happened very sporadically. Um, I was originally gonna be traveling alone, and on the beginning of my travels, I was gonna visit my friend, but she ended up getting really sick, so there was kind of this space of time, and I found this cheap flight down here, and I thought, why not? 
<laughs> so we booked this and um, Logan came. He's gonna leave in like a week and a half and then I'm gonna continue on. But anyways, uh, we don't have any plans for the day. I think we're just gonna walk around and see where life takes us. Thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. ThreadUp is an online thrift store that makes it easy to find brands that you love, all up to 90% off estimated retail value. ThreadUp believes in a sustainable fashion future, rejecting throwaway fashion culture and standing for sustainability. The clothes we wear have the power to make change. Buying one used item instead of new saves enough water to make an iced coffee every day for four years. This linen skirt is from the brand H&M and it was only $12 on ThreadUp's website with an estimated retail price of $50. I love ThreadUp's focus on sustainability and how cute all the clothes I got from them are. I'm so excited to wear my ThreadUp clothes knowing I look good while offsetting the environmental and financial cost of fashion. Use the code ISABEL35 to get 35% off your first order plus free shipping. Thank you again so much ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. In this village there's like miles of hiking trails kind of below the village through the valley so beautiful there's also a dog that's been following us we don't know whose dog it is it could be a stray but he's followed us for like a mile now <laughs> so far we've been here a week in this small little village staying with the sweetest local family we spent most of our days just wandering around. There really isn't much to do, but I think that's what made our experience so amazing. Just observing a slower pace of life, it honestly really affected me. It made me realize how for most of my life I have lived with such an ingrained feeling of needing to be constantly doing something or be productive and moving forward in life. The air is lighter up here, and after a week of sunshine and quieter days, it feels like I'm starting to feel a little lighter as well. There's something just incredibly freeing about packing a small backpack of things and just leaving. As much as I do love the routine of the life I live back home, I think Something I like even more is just letting go of all my attachments, my comforts and routine. And you know what I think it is, is I think it kind of forces you to live more in the moment. So from the locals, I learned a lot about this village here and how much of their local economy is fueled by growing and making textiles. Over 350 of the villagers help in the process of making these very beautiful, sustainable clothes. They begin the process with locally sourced wool straight from these villages, as well as heirloom cotton grown here as well. After they remove the dirt and twigs, they do a process called carding, which is basically combing the fibers to make the batting, which is then hand spun by many of the local women. And it was just really beautiful to see them all working together on something as a community. Visiting them, I could really sense this deep love for the art of textiles. All of the yarn is then hand dyed by local plants. And then they use a petal loom, which is a very, very old loom, to weave the yarn into fabric. And it was just truly inspiring to see the process of traditional textile creation and to see the fine detail of their hand stitches as well. During a time in this world when we seem to be forgetting all traditions, it was so beautiful to see this traditional craft continuing on in this very remote mountain village. I got some great stuff. 
I got some really cute stuff here. This little top and then this little top, super cute. I wanted to buy way more things, but I don't have any room in the suitcase, so I only got to get two things. But I did get this journal. They like hand embroidered and spun the fabric for the journal. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> This village is so small, there's only like one, I don't, I wouldn't call it even a store, just like a little tiny market. <gasps> I don't know, it's small, but we just found some really great things here. We didn't bring any soap, so we got some soap. I'm excited to try this. Mm -hmm. It smells like nothing, it doesn't have a smell, <laughs> but I bet it works really well. And then we got this. We took a chance on it because we weren't really sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's peanut butter. It's pretty amazing we found peanut butter. Yeah. We got some coffee. I kind of want to smell it. That smells amazing. The coffee I've had here so far is stop. like... Whoa. I know. Wow. But the coffee I've had here so far has been like the best coffee I've ever had. Oh, we got some banana. So last night I got down to like 33 degrees. I woke up and I could see my breath. I've got a fire going right now, I'm making a coffee. It is so beautiful to me how everyone in this village cooks on fire. Um, I will say though, it takes a really long time. I think, I think it's been like 40 minutes. <laughs> it was just kind of hard for me this morning. I was so sleepy and getting the fire going. I was just kind of tired, but um, it's getting hot now, so hopefully it'll be done soon. Mmm, it smells kind of like jasmine. You know, it's amazing how just being in the sun has lifted my mood. Like, I can't even explain, you know? Oh, like, too. I feel like a completely different person than when I left. I know. Like, my entire world has changed. Or, like, really, my entire world view has changed. Yeah, the heat, too, I think is really important for me. Yeah, just, just feeling the sun on my skin and, like, oh, smelling these flowers. So the sun is just now setting over these mountains and oh my gosh, it is just so beautiful. I just can't even believe it. A week ago, if you had told me I would be here, I wouldn't believe you. Once we let go of this like need to control life, to go the way we maybe want it to in our heads, and we kind of let go of that and we just let things happen, I feel like then life really brings us to where we need to be. This past year, it feels like I was really trying to force things to go a certain direction. And um, I think my intention for this year is just letting go. Like letting go of any sort of expectation or like feeling like I need to be at a certain point in my life when I reach X age, you know what I mean? Letting go of all of those things and just being. Okay, so tonight we're having this beautiful like lentil soup and uh, salad and then some sort of like potato um, flatbread and then this is like, I don't know, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's made from avocado, <laughs> but it's really yummy. It's so, good. it's so yummy. A lot of the foods here I like don't know what they are. <laughs> 
you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do we have? We, we've got a feast here. And we've got some chocolate. This is Logan's first time in a country where they don't speak English. Mm-hmm. Second time leaving the country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How's your experience been? Really eye-opening. I feel like I was really unnecessarily nervous. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, I mean, I'm sure everybody saw that. He was reading, like, <laughs> all the things online about, like, all the things to be afraid of. I was so scared. There's so much, like, fear-mongering online, though. That, too. Yeah. I don't know why, but it hasn't been scary. No, and it's made me want to travel more. That's good. Yeah.